Hey everybody, how's everyone doing? Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Today, I want to go over a little bit about this new beta that uh, Synthesizer V has just dropped. It's a beta for 1.11 where they introduce, among other things, this pretty nifty function of extracting audio to MIDI. So I'm going to give this a test right here. Now, I was thinking, how would I use this? Would it be even useful for me? In the old days, when I um, created a song, I would you know, play my guitar, and I would hum melody, try to create the melody, and I would keep doing that until I have some kind of melody for the whole song, and then I would record it in my DAW, record the backing instrumentals, and lay down the vocals with my horrible singing. Now, if I still wrote that way, I could then export out that audio file and use this new function to extract the MIDI out of that audio. But I don't write that way anymore. I write my melodies directly in Synthesizer V. I just put the notes onto the piano roll, and that way I could just move it up or down depending on how I want the, the melody to go. I, I, if I think up a, a melody in my head, I just do it right then and there in Synthesizer V. That's my new method of, of writing. It doesn't make sense to use this audio to MIDI extraction because that's just adding an extra step. However, there is another situation where that could still be very useful and that's when I'm doing a cover song. Now, right now when I do it when I'm doing a cover song, now I'll give you an example. This is um anytime anywhere. This is the end theme for the anime Free Ren Beyond um Journeys End. Is that the title? Anyway, Free Ren is a brilliant anime. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's it's fantastic. It's still it's still uh, playing. It's not finished yet. It's on episode twelve, and you could catch it on Crunchyroll. But I thought maybe I should do a cover of that because it's kind of a cool song, and I really like the anime. Um, so I just I grabbed the uh, the song off of YouTube, and I used that as my uh, reference. What I would do, I would just you know listen to it over and over again, and pick out the melody, and then put it into the piano roll. And I just did just a little bit, but this is what this is what I have so far of me, and this is me manually putting in the notes. And do all right. Can you hear me? And that's all I have done so far. And, you know, I admit it can sometimes get tedious. And especially if a song is really busy with a lot of instrumental backing, a lot of backing vocals, it gets harder and harder to hear uh, the lyrics and hear the notes. It would be kind of helpful and speed up the process a lot if I had this function where I could just pull the... Uh, um, audio and just convert that to MIDI. To do that, though, I need an isolated vocal track. And luckily, there's all, there are all these uh, there are now all these AI websites that do that for you. And I went here. This I think it's l a l a l dot AI, and I've gone ahead and split that vocal from the instrumental. And you can hear what that sounds like. I've got it as the vocal iso track right here. And check this out. It's it's. I'm always shocked at how how well this AI stuff can pull that vocal out. And you all right? Can you hear me? It's pretty good, right? I mean, that's that's um, and that's what I need. So let's see how this. Um, new feature works where I can extract the MIDI out of this uh, audio file. So what you want to do, this is the vo isolated vocals I have. And let's highlight the track that I wanted to put in the uh, MIDI notes. I'm going to right click on this, extract notes from audio, and we see the menu, the dialog box for a voice to MIDI conversion. 
no detection sensitivity. I will leave this at 80% just as a starter. I think it'll work all right. Leave pitch correction on. I want phonetic lyrics uh, transcription because if you don't have that, it will just go la, 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 la in the notes. But this way, um, you'll get the phonetics. For English, you're still going to have to type in the real English words, but it's still very helpful because you see what the English word is supposed to be so you don't have to refer to some lyric sheet. For Japanese, it's even better because the Japanese character is the phonetics. Um, at least I think that's how it's going to work. And language is Japanese because May, my, or however you say her name. Let's go ahead and start this audio analysis. It doesn't seem to take too long. We're at the last 2%. And there we go. And as you can see, it puts the Japanese characters in. At least for most of it, this one isn't, though. Compared to mine, let's see what it looks like. This is mine. And this is what it extracted. Now let's give it a listen here. Yeah, this part's not going to match because it's, it's in English. It's supposed to be in English. Yeah, and right here you can see it's it's longer than what uh, it was actually singing. Yeah, see how long that is? You can just, oh, have to disband this group first before we can edit the individual notes. Something like that. Well, you can hear that's not right. So she's hitting this note, but the extracted MIDI. Yeah, so you just move it, you know. It seems reasonable to expect that uh, you're going to have to do some editing. Overall, I think it does a pretty good job, and it's, uh, I can imagine it will be a huge time saver. I think the one caution that you would have, though, is if you get in the habit, because if you're lazy, and I'm pretty lazy, you might depend on this too much um, and not put in the notes yourself, which gets you out of the habit of training your ear. If you just rely on this completely, you're never going to train your ear. Um, good thing, though, that these AI uh, vocal uh, AI stem extraction sites, you have to pay money. So basically that means I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I would have to go through my um, the old-fashioned way of uh, putting it in uh, by uh, listening to the reference and then putting in the notes in the piano row. But it's, it's, it's a great option if you want to spend the money to do the stem extraction uh, it speeds up you know, the, your process greatly, that's for sure. So um, the beta is out for a Synthesizer V. Uh, download it yourself. Give it a try. Um, see what you think about it. See what you think of it. 
So anyway, see you guys later.